Since launching in 2014, the evolution of Terraform has been a collaborative work between the Terraform team and the large and talented open source community who use and contribute to Terraform every single day. As we prepared to announce Terraform 1.0, we wanted to reflect upon and take time to thank you, the community that supports and maintains Terraform. We've learned a lot from you. Terraform has grown with you, and we couldn't have gotten here without you. Here's a quick look at how you've shaped Terraform into what it is today. Hello, I'm Lucy Devonhart. I've been using Terraform since uh, 2016, which would be around about Terraform 0.7, back when providers were actually bundled into the binary itself. Hi, my name is Trent Razorsbaum. In my day-to-day -day role, I lead the development of new Terraform providers. And over the last three years, I've actively used Terraform within our client projects. Hi, I'm Ned Bellavance, and I've been using Terraform since 2017, so that would have been back in the 0.9 days, and boy, have things changed since then till now. I'm Anton Babenka. I'm open source contributor and uh, all-round Terraform AWS fanatic. I've been using Terraform almost daily for the last five years and uh, still enjoying it. Hi everyone, my name is Luke Kaiso, and I'm one of the co-creators and maintainers of Atlantis, an open source tool for Terraform collaboration. And I've been a Terraform user for almost five years now. Hello everybody, my name is Pato, and I've been using Terraform for about three and a half to four years. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Terraform provider development. So I'm going to be talking about evolving your infrastructure with Terraform. So this talk will teach you how to refactor your Terraform code in a careful way with minimal risk. Terraform, which is a lot more powerful than just um, allowing you to create instances. But one of the uses that we found from it was that it's able to create instances across different cloud providers. So there's a better way to do this. There's a better way to manage your infrastructure, to deploy infrastructure that makes this a little bit less painful. And that's to use modules. For me, the one thing that I'm really looking forward to is implementing new Terraform providers and really adding to the ecosystem. There's a real sense of achievement when you enable a service and then it starts integrating with existing providers. And then you can see that actually being used by development teams. One of my most memorable moments using Terraform, uh, probably the first time I contributed to it. I started digging into the Terraform code and the provider code, uh, learning how it works behind the scenes, and it was very exciting uh, when I got that first pull request of mine merged. Meeting real people working in various uh, cloud providers, Fortune 500 companies, governments, and uh, other big companies, and acknowledging that they are actually using the solutions you wrote is the biggest driver for me. And we adopted it mostly thanks to a friend of mine, uh, Mishra, who was a big fan of HashiCorp tools and, and saw this new tool called Terraform coming out. Just clicking around in the Amazon console was not scalable with kind of the, the hyper growth we were seeing at, at the startup that we were in. A new team member that had previous Terraform experience joined the team and showed me how to replace the hundreds of lines of bash script that I had written into a few lines of Terraform code. And that absolutely blew my mind. My very first experience with Terraform was actually from a blog post from Scott Lowe that introduced me to the concepts of Terraform, which was really perfect timing because I had just finished a project where I'd written thousands of lines of cloud formation, and I really didn't want to do that again. The journey isn't over yet, but we wanted to thank you for getting Terraform to where it is today. There's still more to come, so please keep sharing your stories, get your certifications, and most importantly, keep building. What are you looking forward to building with Terraform in the future? Develop tools Terraform developers don't know they're missing is at the very top for me. I hope you will like it. In the future, what I'm most excited about building is, is building up the Atlantis maintainers team and making this kind of a, a really sustainable project that has a lot of uh, contributors and is responsive to the open source community and has like a, a long future ahead of it. I think one of the coolest places where Terraform is being used today is in bare metal and edge providers. So you can provision physical infrastructure as well as virtual cloud infrastructure. And I'm looking forward to building more of that. I would love to see more Terraform providers for physical things. 
for example, the, the pizza ordering provider. There's a, a gap that can be bridged between Terraform APIs in the physical world. And I think that would be a very interesting space to tackle. What am I looking forward to? Uh, honestly, probably something fairly simple. Terraform Cloud is fantastic and I use it all the time myself, but I still have an aversion to clicking buttons when I don't have to. So I'm thinking about going meta and having Terraform Cloud configure Terraform Cloud via Terraform. <laughs> so that should be fun.